Come, come, go on. I uh, can't find it, Sir Henry. Can't find what, child? I can't find the doorbell, Sir Henry. For Tutankhamun's sake, Drusilla. You're supposed to be an archaeologist. You're meant to find things, even doorbells. Ah, found it. I know we're on the brink of a link. The brink of a link, Sir Henry? A link with the prehistoric, a link with the unknown, a link with the time before the dawn of man. Not today, thank you. Well, clearly. Doesn't he know who we are? Yes. I mean, no. They don't look like window cleaners. Well, you've got another chance to find out, Dad. Sorry. We've had a rash of window cleaners. Every time the doorbell rings, it's another window cleaner. But rest assured we are not. Allow me to present my assistant, Mr. Lucilla Fogg, and I am Sir Henry Duggett, archaeologist and about-to-be television presenter. Not the Sir Henry Duggett. The same. The man who discovered the ancient city of the pre-Greek civilizations. No, not that one. Sir Henry goes back earlier than that. He's into the prehistoric. Like Jurassic. Very Jurassic, young man. And who must be Mr. Dabbs? A dog's head. And this is where the studio of Monster TV is? Correct. We've got something extraordinary to tell you. Well, then you better come in. Under this house could be one of the most exciting prehistoric discoveries ever made. But what's that got to do with Monster TV, Sir Henry? There are monsters and monsters. We feel that we can come up with more convincing ones than the ropey lot you've got here. Something more Jurassic, something more scientific, something more proven. We could make a unique TV show for you. With Sir Henry presenting it. Well, um, you'll find we have a wealth of knowledge behind us. Good. Shocking behaviour. Get them to behave, Billy. Go away, now. Now! Uh, not you, Sir Henry. Please, sit down, Drusilla. We have no wish to upset you. Uh, nor, nor we, we you. I'm sorry, I don't speak Norwegian. You were telling us about what is under the house, Sir Henry? The nesting site of an extinct dinosaur herd. To prove it, all we've got to do is get an egg. Oh, but I can let you have one. You, you can? can? But of course. I have a dozen free range in the cupboard. Oh. Mum is really enthusiastic about this dinosaur egg story. It would be a real event if Sir Henry discovers one. We've got better than that. What? We've got the Monster Vision Song Contest. With us as the contestants. And the winners. How are you, the winners? <laughs> there aren't any other contestants. <laughs> oh, <come. laughs> what are you going to sing? Our own composition. Would, would you, you like, like to hear, hear it? it? And not at the moment, thank you. Mum says I'm to work on the dinosaur egg story. It's much more compelling television. <laughs> compelling television. A dinosaur egg. <laughs> A song from two creaky monsters. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I won't. I'll show them how it's really done. I'll point those archaeologists in an egg direction. <gasps> Big discovery time. The viewers will see... An egg. Who wants to see an egg? <laughs> click. Click. Click, stick, switch off. Fade down, Monster TV. Fade up, Fear of Venom TV. Now, that's compelling television. Hacha! Gotcha! Monster, Monster, Monster TV. You gotta believe what you believe you say. Yeah! And the sensational announcement from Monster TV. Woo! The studio is possibly above the site of a prehistoric dinosaur nesting ground. Wow! <laughs> this discovery was made by the disgusted, I mean distinguished, archaeologist Sir Henry Duggett. Da -da -da! And his lovely assistant, Mr. Silla Fogg. Da -da 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 -da! <laughs> As I speak, these experts are combing the, subter <laughs> combing the subterranean tunnels in the area below for proof of this nesting site. And the monster... TV team will be offering invaluable assistance to Sir Henry Duggett and Mr. Silla Fogg in their quest. And the quest is a search for an egg. An old egg. A very old egg. A very, very old egg. And when that egg is discovered, you, our lucky viewers, will see it on... Monster, 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 Monster TV. You gotta believe what you believe you say. Yeah. That should get a big response. There hasn't been such a big response to yesterday's announcement. 
Maybe Mr. Henry and Drusilla will come up with something today. Well, it needs to be something pretty exciting to boost the audience. Something to look at. Oh, they might even find a, a dinosaur nest. Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Ed. <gasps> Sir Henry, look! What? There, on the ground, just ahead. Perishing pyramids. It looks like... like a giant nest. Going awfully well. Don't you think so, Stick? Yep. I think I'll make my first program a chat show. Many attractive women do. Well, it's obvious what it is. It's a nest from the Jurassic period. Long extinct vines and twigs intertwined and miraculously preserved. Is there anything you don't know, Sir Henry? No, Drusilla. No. Hello. Oh, good morning, Sir Henry. A fantastic discovery. That is fantastic. Oh, we'd love to see it. Gosh. Wowee. Crumbs. See you later. Ed, Billy, guess what? There are commercial possibilities. Spin-offs, you know. Looking at this electronically, the trouble with prehistoric nests is that they always look as if they've been built yesterday on Blue Peter. Oh, what an unenthusiastic thing to say. Anyway, how would you know? You've never even seen one. Oh, have you know? I watch Blue Peter three times a week. I'm not talking about Blue Peter. I'm talking about prehistoric dinosaur nests. Well, I can use my imagination. Oh, don't be daft, Ed. Television engineers don't have imaginations. Oh, oh, to... oh this thing's broken. There's no picture. I imagine the camera lens is being obscured by some large object. Like a prehistoric nest. Oh, correction. Television engineers do have imaginations. It's a monster vision song. Oh, 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 sha la 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 sha la Has something terrible happened here? I thought I heard sirens and wailings and moanings and caterwaulings. We were practicing our song for the monster vision song contest. That explains it. But why bother practicing? I thought Monster TV was concentrating on the fascinating quest of the dinosaur egg. Much more riveting television than the coarse vulgarity of a song contest. So, she thinks all this egg business is riveting television? How would she know? Rocky, the trouble with monsters like that is that they think they know. Gosh, if that's the size of the nest, Imagine the size of the egg. We're talking Plistosaurus giganticus. I thought it was English. Naturally, we hope for a positive identification. And we were wondering if your uh, monsters could help us. After all, they must know the ins and outs of the tunnels around here. I'll give them a shout. Herbert! Rocky! Funny names for monsters. Not as funny as Plistosaurus giganticus. <laughs> Ah, oh, Rocky Herbert. Ah! Thanks for dropping in. Uh, this is Sir Henry Duggett and Miss Fogg, the searchers for the dinosaur egg. Uh, charmed. Sir Henry was wondering if you two had any idea of the origins of this nest. It's my theory that this is the nest of the Plestisaurus giganticus, a member of the dinosaur family. Oh, is it? I thought I saw something like this being made on Blue Peter once. You're not doubting my expertise, I hope. Of course he isn't, Sir Henry. He's just saying that the nest isn't all that extraordinary-looking, what you... Well, Billy wants to show it on Monster TV this afternoon. Well, a nest without an egg, it doesn't amount to much. If you or young Billy think for one moment that I am going to subject a great archaeological discovery to inexperienced scrutiny on an obscure television channel, you are all very much mistaken. Oh, please, Sir Henry. They don't mean it. Sounds as if they mean it to me. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello, Billy. Is that the nest? Oh, great. We can talk about it in the transmission this afternoon. No, you will not. I have just been insulted. There will be no nest on your television this afternoon. I know what you television people are like. You just want to take people apart. I'm sorry, Sir Henry. Whatever gave you that impression? Those two. If and only if Miss Fogg and I find an egg, will we consider sharing our discovery. Come along, Drusilla. We're leaving. Don't forget the nest! You monsters blew it! Billy's mum had great plans. I was going to get sponsors, make eggs, sell little nests. 
You'll have to think of something else now for Monster TV, Billy. <laughs> we already have done, Mr. Dawn. Oh, what's that? The, the Monster, Monster Vision Song, Song Contest! Oh. <laughs> well, I'll just have to make those archaeologists find an egg. How? How now, brown cow? How, my little stick? How? By simply placing one in their path. Due to a technical fault, we are unable to show you more of the search for the dinosaur egg. Instead, a preview of a great event. Herbert and Rocky will be giving you a taste of the song they will be singing in the Monster Vision Song Contest. On you come, boys. Sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la. It's a Monster Vision song. Sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la. It's a song that can't go wrong. There's a beat, there's a boom, there's a rhythm in the room. On the sun, on the moon, feel the rhythm in the tune. It's a monster vision song. Oh, 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 sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la. Never heard anything like it, my life. Put creatures like that on television, they rule the world. You did say you'd go on their show if we found an egg. I am a man of my word, Drusilla. Well, look, Sir Henry. Jumping Jurassic speech here. We found it. You realize what this means, Drusilla? I am going to be a household word. Like Bleach, Sir Henry. No, not like Bleach. I'm looking forward to this song contest. How can it be a contest? With one song, one pair of singers and one competitor. I'm using my imagination. I wonder if Sir Henry will ever find his dinosaur egg. Everybody ready? Yes! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, messieurs and madame. Stop! We've got it! What about our song? 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 Now that I've got my egg, I am going to give the audience a full lecture on the Plistosaurus Giganticus period of the Jurassic evolution. That'll grab them, Sir Henry. Let's put the egg down. Oh, I'm getting very hot under these lights. So is the egg. Look, it's beginning to crack. <gasps> Look, the lights are hatching the egg. It's not meant to hatch. It's just meant to be the egg. It's hatching! Look, Beak! It's a bird! It's a baby! Oh. Excuse me! Oh. Who in the name of Cleopatra are you? It's, it's Fear of Venom! I'm taking you back to your mummy. Mummy? Did you hear that? That woman was talking Egyptian. Sounded like English to me, Sir Henry. Come along, Drusilla. We're on the brink of a new discovery. Get your shovel. What do we do now? What, what do you think we do? Sha la 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 la, sha la 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 la. <laughs> that fear of Venom's really scary. Yes, I can't work out why she's got a bush on her head. It's very, very strange <laughs> indeed. Monster TV is back at the same time next week. And stay tuned, because the Wild Thornberries are next. Tension mount.